Hello everyone, this is Sandeep from Tutorial Brain and in this video lesson we are going to see important themes in Brackets Code Editor. Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. So by default when you install Brackets, you will be having two themes that is Brackets Dark and bracket slide. So these are the two themes which are present by default. And if you want to install any theme, you have to go to extension manager, right? And from this extension manager, you have to go to themes and then you have to select the particular theme which you like and then you can click on install. So let's see how we can do it. So if I just click on this themes and say if I just want to install this theme that is nightlife. So I can just click on this install button and then this theme will be installed in your brackets code editor. So let us see some important themes which are very popular in case of brackets code editor. So before you install anything, a quick tips is that you have to make sure that if you like a dark color, then it is better you install a dark theme. And if you prefer a light background, then you install a light theme. I mean a theme which is having a lighter background. So personally, I like white theme, but I know most of the developers, they like dark theme. So let's continue and let's see what are the important themes. So the first one is Monokai Dark Soda. So if you just search here, Monokai Dark Soda. So you'll get the link. So here you can see that if you just come down, uh, this is the particular theme. So if you just click on install button, you can install this theme. Now I have already installed this theme. So that is the reason this install button is disabled. Now once you have installed this theme or once you have installed any theme to enable that theme, what you have to do is you have to go to view and then themes, right? And here as I have installed this theme that is Monokai Dark Soda. So I'll just search for this theme that is Monokai Dark Soda. So I can see it is Monokai Dark Soda and yes, this is the theme. And you can see that this looks little darker, right? So this gives you a feeling of something like uh, sublime text Monokai Dark theme. So if you just click on done, you see that this gives a feeling of sublime text. So sublime text has a very popular uh, Monokai Dark theme. So that is exactly called Monokai Dark Soda theme. And this is almost like that. Okay, so if you like this, you can install this. And the next theme which I'll suggest is New Moon. So I have already installed this. So let me just show you. So this is the theme which I'm talking about. This is the New Moon theme. So this will not give a very darker background, but it will just give us some sort of contrasting dark background. And if you just click done, you see that this is a type of moderate dark. It's not extreme dark as well as it is not very light, right? So if you like this, it is very suitable for website development. So in case if you like this, you can install this. The third theme which I would recommend is Monokai. So I've also installed this theme also. So the theme is Monokai. So this is the theme which I'm talking about. So this looks very clean. And this theme is also inspired by Sublime's Monokai color scheme. So that is the reason it resembles something like Sublime. And the next theme which is very popular is Visual Studio Dark. And I have installed this as well. So let me just show you how it will look like. Yes, this is the theme, Visual Studio Dark. So we know that Visual Studio Code is a very popular code editor. And this looks very different. You can see that this particular theme looks very different from other themes and the coloring option also you see that it looks very simple and elegant so if you like this particular theme you can install this and the next theme which I want to suggest you is called Raven and I've installed this as well so I'll just show you this theme how it will look like so this is the Raven theme if I just click here you see that how it looks like it is a dark theme and it is inspired by Dreamweaver so if anyone of you have already worked on Dreamweaver, which is a product of uh, Adobe, then certainly you will like this theme. So go ahead and install this theme and you can work on it, right? And then the next theme which I would suggest is 
Delcos dark theme. So let me just suggest this theme. And if I just click here, this is the theme. So if you just see the uh, readability of this particular theme, you see that this color looks little different. Okay, if I just click here, you see that it looks little different. Uh, but personally, I always like uh, white color. And that is the reason I just prefer the default theme of uh, brackets. So personally, I like this default thing that is brackets light. So this is very simple and I always prefer this. But in case if you love darker theme, then I would suggest a lot of uh, dark theme here. Even I'll suggest few white theme as well. So the next thing which I'm going to suggest you is called sweet dark. So I've installed this theme as well. So the name is sweet dark and you see that this is the particular theme and this theme is also good if you like. So this has a combination of green color with little orange. It's not exactly orange. It is lighter version of orange. And then you can have another theme which is popular. And this theme is called Earth. So this theme looks like this. So if you love aqua color and if you love aqua with green, so that particular combination you'll get here, right? So this is also a good theme. In case if you like this, you can install this. And the next theme, is monokai dark soda so i think it is monokai darker soda not dark soda let me just show you because we have already seen how monokai dark soda looks like this is monokai darker soda so it is monokai darker soda this is the theme i'm talking about so as per the author what he says that if you like coding in the night or in the late night then this theme will be perfect for you so if you are the one who works in late night, then you can install this theme and just give it a try. And the next theme which I want to suggest to you is new one dark. So let me just show you how it will look like. I have already installed this as well. So all these themes I have already installed because I don't want to waste the time by just going to extension manager and then install all those themes one by one. So in your case, you have to go to extension manager as usual and then you have to pick this particular theme from the theme folder right or from the theme directory so let's click done and you see that this particular theme also looks very good now if you work or if you have worked on uh, atom in atom text editor so you can see that this particular theme also resembles one of the atom dark theme so atom text editor is also a good code editor and this particular theme is also inspired by the dark theme of the atom. Now the next theme which I want to suggest you is OS X style. So this is the particular theme that is OX X style flat and dark. If you just click on this, you see that this particular theme looks like this. Now one important point here is that the author has stopped supporting this particular theme. In fact, this theme is deprecated now. In case if you really love this theme, then uh, go ahead and use the theme. Otherwise, I would not recommend this theme. Since this theme is very popular, so that is the reason I have just shown it here. But as the theme itself is deprecated, so I would suggest you, you can use some other themes uh, based on your liking. But if you like iOS 7 type of design or that color concept, then this theme is very good for you. Now, the next theme which is popular is called stripper i'll just show you that theme and this is the theme that is stripper and you see that this has a combination of green with pink and this is also based on the monokai dark soda theme so if you just uh, install that uh, particular theme that is monokai dark soda and this theme you'll see that both of them will look similar in fact let me just show you so if i just uh, monokai dark soda if i just click here you see that almost both the themes are looking similar right and the next theme which i want to show you is code pen so you know that code pen is very popular and if you want a code pen type of feeling on your brackets code editor then you can just install this code pen uh, let me just search yes this is the theme so code pen and i'll just click on done so this is the particular theme you get right so in case if you like this you can uh, install this the next theme which i want to suggest you is infinite okay let me just show you so this is the theme that is infinite let me just 
click on done and you see that how it will look like so this is also not completely dark not completely white also so it is a kind of moderate theme and it is not having that much of contrasting color so if you don't like more contrast in your themes then you can just install this theme as well now the next theme is a uh, chrome theme which is also popular so this is the theme that is chrome theme personally i like this theme because as i told i always prefer white theme so in brackets most of the themes are dark themes if there are some lighter themes in that list of lighter themes this is probably a better theme so the next theme which i wanted to show you is called monokai dark juice so i'll just show you it is monokai dark juice if you click on this this is the particular theme and it is again similar to monokai dark theme and if you are looking for some sort of combination between monokai dark soda and then uh, monokai color schema and then you can just install this theme and the next theme we have is hacker so if you just go to themes and if you just click on this hacker theme you see that this is the particular theme now personally i don't recommend this because this theme doesn't look like a standard theme but somehow if i see the popularity of the themes i see that this theme is again popular but i don't know like exactly why it is popular but somehow this theme reminds me of a terminal okay so it shows like a terminal and that is the reason it has been named as hacker that is what my personal thinking is so if you like it you can uh, still use it but uh, personally i don't like this theme and the next theme is default dark base 16 so it is default dark base 16 so this is the theme and it is also similar to uh, default dark theme okay so whatever default dark theme you'll get if you just install that theme let me just show you as well so this is the default brackets dark theme right so almost not exactly similar because there those tags were in brown color here it is in uh, sky blue color but you can just see like uh, it is also little bit contrasting and that is also contrasting and then the next uh, theme which i would recommend is true ocean so let me just show you this is true ocean base 16 okay so just click on done and this is also a good theme and this theme is similar to ocean theme and ocean theme is also a good theme but i like this particular theme better than ocean theme okay so in case if you like ocean theme you can install that and the next theme which i wanted to suggest you is tonight's special so if i just click on this themes let's show you tonight's specials if some of you like the coda 2 then this theme will work great for you so it is like a remake of the special boards theme but if you have already worked on coda 2 then you can use this theme now the next theme is space theme so let me just show you how that will look like so this is the space theme so this theme is also very good theme and the best part about this theme is that it looks like a programming language so you see that this theme is again very popular among programmers and the next theme is neon morning and if you just go to view i just show you how this theme looks like and this is also a very popular theme which is neon morning so this is how it will look like it uses mostly neon colors and that is the reason it has been named as neon morning and the next theme which i want to recommend you is tansidian theme so let me just search here tansidian and this is the particular theme and this is also a dark theme and the author of this theme was inspired by obsidian and tango color and <laughs> that is the reason he has given this particular color of the tags right and the next theme which i wanted to show you is one dark material theme so let me just show you what i meant it is one dark material theme so as the name suggests it is one dark and then looks like a material theme right so uh, this theme is also good but only problem with this theme is that the developer of this theme has stopped maintaining this theme so i would not recommend you to install this theme and then the then the next theme i would suggest is edited twilight so this is the theme 
I don't know whether it is twilight or twilight. <laughs> so this theme is also good. Uh, and in case if you like this, you can just uh, use this. The one thing I have noticed here is like the combination of colors. But once I click here, you see that it gives me this particular tags in some other color that is some sort of uh, lighter blue, I mean white and light blue. But if I just click somewhere else, you see that this itself is not visible. I mean this particular head is not visible. Similarly, you see that it is selecting these particular areas nicely. But if I just click here, again, this is not visible properly. So I would not suggest this theme, but uh, this theme is also popular for some reason, which I don't know. Personally, I never uh, use this theme. In case if you like this, you can go ahead and use this theme. And the next theme is Hopscotch. Okay, so let me just show you. It is Hopscotch. We know that uh, hopscotch learning is more popular among kids, right? So this theme has taken inspiration from that idea and the author has created with this particular design. So in case if you like this, you can install this as well. The next theme which I want to show you is convergent. Okay, so it is convergent and if I just click on done, you see that this is a very good theme and the best part about this theme is that it is good for HTML and uh, XML coding. Okay, even it is uh, good for PHP as well. And the next theme which I would suggest is Orchid. Okay, so it is Orchid theme. Let's click on done. And this theme is also good. And the best part is that this theme has started becoming more popular nowadays. And the next theme is plasma light theme. Let me just show you. It is plasma. So this is the theme, plasma theme. Now if you have noticed, if you would have worked on C or C++ or some, some sort of old compilers, if you love that, then this theme will be best for you. Personally, I don't like that. But uh, in case if you have already worked on C or C++ and you like that sort of compiler feeling in your brackets code editor, then you can install this theme as well. Now the next theme which I would suggest you is Kate. So it is Kate++. plus plus. Okay, so if I just install this theme, you see that this is lighter theme. And again, this is also one of my favorite theme because it is light in color and it is inspired by Ubuntu. And the best thing is it is inspired by Ubuntu. Okay, that is Ubuntu get it. So this looks like a very clean and then Ubuntu type of feeling. So if you have worked on Ubuntu or Ubuntu get it, then uh, definitely you will love this thing, right? So I have showed you a lot of themes for brackets code editor. In fact, we have covered more than 30 themes. So let me just show you one last theme. And this is called violet dark theme. Now this theme has a lot of violet color base. So I remember one of my colleague, she wanted the violet color. And for some reason, she liked this particular theme. And it's not only about her. I have seen like a lot of people or a lot of developers have violet as their favorite color. And they use this particular theme. So we have covered more than 30 themes. And there are a lot of themes which are also popular or which are getting popular. But I have tried to show some of the themes which are widely used by Brackets community. So thanks for joining. And in case if you want to know more about bracket themes, I'll upload all these details in our website that is tutorialbrain.com. There you can check the list of brackets themes. In fact, you will see more themes there. So I have just tried to cover 30 themes here. In fact, 31 themes. But in the main site, we will be listing even more. So do check it out. So thanks for joining and allowing me to share my knowledge across. I'll see you in the next video lesson. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will try to answer it. So thanks for watching it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Take care. Bye.